ang Pinoy boxer na nagparetiro sa batang unified at undefeated champion ng Britanya. Bago yan, mag-subscribe na muna kayo sa ating channel para manotify kayo sa mga susunod pa nating mga video. Si Ryan Burnett ay 26 years old pa lang nung makalaban niya ang future Hall of Famer at Filipino legend na si Nonito Donaire na 35 years old at ilang araw na lang ay 36 years old na. Wala na sa prime dito si Donaire. Si Ryan Burnett ang champion dito at challenger ang ating pambato. Pinaglabanan nila ang Super WBA Bantamweight sa World Boxing Super Series. Panoorin natin kung ano ba ang dahilan ng kanyang maagang pagre-retiro. And we are underway. The first of a scheduled 12 three-minute rounds. The WBA Super World Bantamweight Champion Ryan Burnett making the second defense of that title. Facing off against Bash. That was up at featherweight. Good left jab from Ryan Burnett. This version of 118 as he was during his majestic pumps. For so, no, for so long, and I've had a big weight, a weight drop down. Then he might be a little bit weight drained, so you keep making for the high pace. Make him suffer, make him look it. That's lovely there from Burnett. Nice fast hands. The netting effectiveness. Beautiful left jab from Burnett off. The move before the jab was better than the actual punch itself, wasn't it? Left hook to the body and then right hand over the top from Burnett. On the front foot early on. Burnett did well to raise the right hand and block the attempted left hook. On the front foot. It's good. Range of jabs right near the logo. A center ring here. What a right hand from Burnett! Lead left hand was a nice shot. Partially blocked by the glove. Good right hand to the body from Burnett. Left hook in response from Burnett. Then a chopping right hand. On the inside, and the film alongside him, coach of the Irish Olympic setup, where Ryan Bennett had such success. Beautiful right hand went next to the turnbuckle in a neutral corner from Ryan Bennett. Lead left hook was blocked by the right glove of Bennett. And now Bennett looking to pin his man to the corner, unloading heavy artillery. But Ryan Bennett remaining alert, bobbing and weaving effectively, blocking shots with his gloves, and comes back with a left hook of his own. Fantastic upper body move there from Bennett. This is a great little the, the good tactic here from Bennett. He's got, he's got the see there, look at that. Oh, Lovely uppercut, fantastic shot. Terrific combination from Burnett, ending with that left up. The reigning WBA super. Looks like it's a flicking jab, it's actually a real solid shot. Good right hand from Denier, and then another one. Ryan Burnett taking punches in the corner, trying to bob and weave, but Benito Denier finding his range with that vaunted backhand. Ryan Burnett showing machismo, nodding in the direction of his man as if to say those shots didn't hurt, but the reddening on his face, well I'm not suggesting that they did hurt, but they were certainly scoring shots. Exchange of test, Denier has so many layers as he takes a good right hand from Ryan Burnett. He took in areas. We'll see, oh it's lovely there, nice little right shot all the time. And I think it's fair, and he, and he has, that's a beautiful one too there. Hyperbole to say, of all time. When he time everybody refers to Sugar Ray Robinson's left hook as he comes to work with a left uppercut and left hook then getting to work again with a left hand underneath is Nonito Denier but the WBA super world bantamweight champion defending his crown again on a reminder a permanent reminder of the type of punt tonight a perfect 19 and 0 coming in get a bit of range in that left hand though Denier oh my goodness Now, I think he suffered a back injury here. He was dramatic circumstance here. Ryan Burnett pivoting with his back foot in the canvas and had to take a knee. Dramatic development here in the closing stages of the fourth round. Oh my goodness, Denier now putting off on what is effectively a sitting target. Burnett can't get out of the way of the punches. And the terrific movement from the waist. Well, he's not able to employ it at this juncture. Kinamaan niya ng napakalakas na lepok ni Dunayre itong si Burnett sa tagiliran kaya yun ang naging dahilan ng kanyang back injury.
Makalipas ang anim na buwan ay muli siyang bumalik sa ring kontra sa ating kababayan ulit na si Gilbert Gomera. Na nagkaroon pa nga ng problema dahil hindi siya nakapagsuot ng hand drugs sapagkat walang umaasikaso sa kanila sa venue. Kaya nagulat na lang sila nang biglang tawagin si Gomera na siya na ang susunod na lalaban. Napaiyak pa nga si Gomera habang sinusuot ang gloves. Kung tatanungin nyo kung bakit hindi agad sinuot ni Gomera ang kanyang hand drugs ay eh para hindi masakal ang kanyang mga kamay sa tagal ng pagkakasuot nito. Nagsusuot na agad ang mga fighter kapag naabisuan na sila kung malapit na ang kanilang laban. Sa kaso nga ni Gomera ay eh walang umaasikaso sa kanila kaya hindi siya naabisuhan. Hindi din sila pinapayag ang lumabas ng quarters para tignan kung siya na ang susunod na lalaban. Kaya ang nangyari ay lumaban na lang siya ng walang hand wraps. A point with his argument that they're hitting the arms and, and, and going low. They're ricocheting off. What happens here? Kamara, he's constantly touching his, his, his going, going for his head there anyway. I'm not sure if you've got an issue with it, so it's maybe just magnifying the point that he's getting hit a little bit low. And picked off there again. Look at that fantastic defense from Burnett trying to turn that into attack once again. Every time he has a, a, a succession of, of punches landed, the crowd starts to build to a crescendo. Some lovely head movement there, up close there from Burnett. See, even though he, you would never tell anyone to drop the, oh, what a shot. You never tell anyone to drop their hands that close to the distance. You can see the concentration in his face. Big right hand again from Burnett. It's almost a, a sixth sense where these punches whizzing by, missing by millimeters, if not centimeters. You see, you see why Gomera's corner were calling for that uppercut because Benet, what Benet, he puts his head so close to you that it's almost he's safe because it's too close to the side. Yeah, that was another semi complaint from Gomera. Now, the right hand landed on, on the cheek from Burnett, starting to get through again. Oh, that's a good body shot from him. And again, oh, it's the second one. Oh, he's complained there, but no way. He landed two, he's counted him out. Referee spot on. Natalo nga si Gilbert Gomera sa round 6 ng kanilang laban. Irereklamo lang sana ni Gomera ang low blow ni Burnett pero itinigil na ng referee ang laban. Matapos nito ay hindi na nga muling lumaban si Burnett sa loob ng ring at tuluyan ang nagretiro sa edad lamang na 27 years old noong 2019 dahil sa natamon itong injury.